gente bella, hello my beautiful people, it is I, Alejandra, I'm back with another video for you. If you haven't gotten a chance to check out my other two previous videos, go ahead and watch those. I would highly appreciate that. I am here in my brand new studio, I'm getting ready for my grand opening and I am organizing some of my back bar products and I was like, what a better way to uh, show you guys what products I use and how I got started on those lines and how you can get started on your All right, lines. guys, so let me teach you how to play around with lines and find a line that are going to be suitable for your clients and for your treatment room without breaking bank. Yes, girl, I have not spent more than a thousand dollars buying products. So if you're someone like me that wants to ball on a budget but still do what she has to do, then grab your pen and paper because this might help you out. When I was in school, we used the line called Dermalogica. Um, if you're not familiar with it, you can actually find it in your local Sephora's or local Ulta's. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are familiar with this line. Uh, when we got introduced to the line, it was basically some professional uh, products and some were kind of like over the counter type of products that you can buy again at your Sephora or Ulta. Uh, when I was in school, I got to use and play around with the products obviously and I mean nothing wrong with them. However, I wasn't highly impressed by them and even when we were introduced to professional lines with like the chemical peels, I was still not wowed by it. Yes, they have great products. Yes, it's a great line, but it's just not a line for me. So. That is something that you have to consider when you first are starting out with picking out or choosing which lines and brands you want to use for your treatment room, especially because you have all the leverage to choose and play around with all these lines. And there's thousands of lines, which is crazy. It can get, I also learned about Glymid when I was in school because we actually used Glymid's peel. And then I was already following a statistician that pretty much loved uh, Glymid as much as I love it now. So once I got to try out the products first i was very impressed i was like okay there is nothing like this that i can get my hands at a sephora or ulta so boom i'm already sold really sold me with climate was just the results the delivery of the products and how great these products actually work first and foremost when you're looking for a new line to work with you want to find a line that you're going to love you're going to want to find a line that, that fits your current client's needs. So a lot of times when you're working with mostly acne clients, hyperpigmentation, anti-aging, whatever the case, sensitive skin, whatever the case might be, you want to kind of go with a company or brand that is tailored to those clients. Like face reality is an acne line. So if your clients are mostly uh, clients that have acne, that will be probably a good line for you to start with. Also, you wanna make sure that you're passionate about this line, that you truly believe in this line because most likely you're going to be retailing this line and you want your clients to love the line as much as you have loved it. So you can't sell something that you don't believe in. And once you have gone on the websites and looked around a few lines and you're kind of like, okay, what should I be looking for? You wanna be looking for things like, what is their philosophy? What do they believe in? What is their product uh, production line look like? Like, are they actually producing what is stated in the box? The thing that you really, really want to consider when choosing your lines is: Are they safe for clients that have, that are pregnant? Are they oncology safe? There's a lot of clients that you're gonna come across, and you want to make a mental note of their skin, so that way it kind of helps you break down what type of clients you want to have and what kind of lines you want to provide them with. And most importantly, guys. When choosing a line to work with, make sure they have great education. Climate Plus is actually amazing when it comes to their education. They have podcasts, they have webinars, they have free classes. I mean, literally, they have a lot of resources for us, protocols, you name it. So find a brand that can help you out in the process of you learning the new line, right? You're, you're not going to know everything. So yeah, find a line, and most lines do offer education, which is really awesome. Sometimes you do have to pay for the education, sometimes you don't, so that's something to also Once consider. you have already kind of figured out what lines you want to work with, and you're still, and you're looking around their products, what products you might be interested in, go ahead and find a contact information. If you can find a 1-800 number, if you can find an email, emails are best, you can definitely just email customer service, 
and super easy guys connect with the brand rep to your region so how do you find the brand rep to your region all you have to do is again find that email click on that email email them a super quick short email and say hello my name is blank I am in the city and state of blank. I am interested in potentially carrying your line. Could you please connect me to the brand rep of this region? Super simple and usually brand reps are super fast. They wanna get to you as fast as you wanna get to them. You are a benefit to them as they are a benefit to you. It's very important that you befriend this person because this person might be the person that can help you and guide you to choosing the products, to your education. Hey, you never know, maybe they are hiring. What for the future, right? So it's really, really great that you you build connections with brand reps even if you don't decide to work with that line it is amazing amazing you just never know what doors may open. alrighty guys so once that brand rep has connected with you and they're gonna give you all that information and all that stuff of how to get started a lot of times uh, brands do have an opening fee uh, to open up your account and a lot of times those fees are applied for products so just something to consider a suggestion once you connect it to that brand rep let them know I am potentially and interested in carrying your line. I would like to see about getting potentially some free samples or if there is kits or samples or trial sizes that you are that you can purchase from them you get a chance to try out this line a lot of these times the reps are really nice they'll give you some free samples. what i actually did for me was i purchased kits i purchased kits from image i purchased kits from climate i purchased kits from skin so image was another line that i was actually considering after climate and uh, dermalogica i did try out some kits from them i used them myself for a week um, I really did like them but again I've used some of them in my treatment room some of them for my staff nothing wrong with image I like these masks but that's about it I haven't really fully dived into I also heard from another esthetician that a lot of these clients are able to purchase these products elsewhere and it can be tricky retailing them so please consider things like that so then I went to go check out skin scripts and they don't have a fee to open up an account so I was like boom let's do it I was able to get a few of these kits which are these products I got to try them out myself and I even got a kit for me to use inside my treatment room and that's what I've been doing for the past few months I've been working off of that kit because there's so much in that kit that you can use it for different products. after trying out the kit and really actually enjoying some of their enzymes this group is actually really well known for their enzymes a lot of the estheticians that I follow are using most of their enzymes so it actually really sold to me I love enzymes um, I think it's something that is safe for any skin type to consider too is really how it safe for every skin so even if they're in the fits one through six it's safe enough for them to use the enzyme so that's really awesome from skin scripts i really like that um so once i got to try out a few of the enzymes and i kind of handpicked out which ones i really liked and which ones actually were really good for my clients um i went and bought full size a few of the enzymes that i chose was the pomegranate because it's really good for almost all skin types combo too so when he got the coconut enzyme because this is really amazing for my sensitive eczema clients and it really truly really does make a big difference even though it's very mild um you still see a great results with it so good one then guys i wanted to really really tell you more about glymed because this is the line that again i mainly carry and i so I'm so in love with it. I, I decided to retail this uh, line because it really spoke to me. It really was kind of what I believe in. And I actually want to read to you Climate's philosophy. So, so this is kind of their belief and what they're about. Climate Plus Regenerative formulas are void of harmful harsh and counterfeit ingredients chemicals and animal byproducts and testing this part by the way i love this part because skin is our most important and complicated immune organ every climate plus regenerative formula is specifically engineered to interact synergistically within the skin's own natural environment that is exactly my goal i want clients to have a healthy skin despite of what troubles that skin might be giving so there you have it that's climate's philosophy which again spoke to me that something that um 
I really, really believe in. I always talked about before I became an esthetician and was working uh, the skincare counter. I really believe that there was so much actives going on, but no one was talking about nourishing, hydrating, protecting, giving the skin back what it's asking for. So Glymed, again, spoke to me so much. Little secret. I actually have not purchased any back bar sizes until a couple months ago, and I only purchased one so far. And it's the Glymed Plus Mega Purifying Cleanser because I know I love this product. I use this as my first uh, cleanser for every client. It's safe enough for every client. And so this was my first and only back bar product that I purchased. I've been doing facials for over a year, and again, this is my first back bar product. I go by like retail sizes that I do use in my treatment and that is another way for you to get started on these lines. You can just buy retail sizes and those can be actually your back bar. There is going to be lines that do want you to drop $2,000, $5,000 and if you, again, if you are able to do that, kudos to you. I personally wouldn't. I play it safe, smart, and slow. What I like to do is really test out these products and see if they speak to me. Are they really actually going to be tailored for my clients? So that's something to consider. If you don't have the clients to uh, go for a line like DMK, I believe their line um, starting fee is like $2,500. Um, you don't have the funds, you don't have the clients for that then don't do it yet. I, everything with divine time. There's thousands of lines out there, you guys, so you don't have to stick to one. And if that line works out for you for the first few years and you're like, I'm ready to move on to the next, or I'm ready to bring in multiple lines, go for it. The more the reminder, don't go breaking bank. You don't need to impress anyone. Build yourself up to there. Build yourself up with your clients. Build yourself up with your knowledge. Build yourself up to with any education that these brands are off. I hope you enjoyed this video. You found it helpful and go ahead and like and comment this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel just turn on those notifications so you know when i upload a new video let me know in the comments what other videos you want to see to further notice me gente peace and love